Shake it, baby. Yo, Frank, you ready? Yeah, dude. Let's go. So, uh, this is, uh, I've been calling it Rusty, that drum smoker. What we're doing is we're going to go get the paint to paint that thing. We're going to do this as close to just old school as we can. And uh, we're going to buy some paint, just regular old rattle can paint. Usually every store has two cans. That's all they got. Okay. So we got a lot of different paint here we can choose from. And what we tell you to do is buy the VHT paint is what we tell you to buy. That's this stuff here, flame proof. Really what their mission is not smokers. Their mission is like headers and engine paint and stuff like that, but it works just fine for what we're doing. See, I told you two cans, one, two. Now glossy, the more glossy the paint, the more it's going to show all of the imperfections and all of the stuff that you don't want to see in your paint. We recommend applying one of the VHT flame proof primers. So since they recommend applying a primer, we're going to do it. Wax and oil remover. Xylene. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to scratch this thing up a little bit. I just use good old Scotch Brite. Um, you can also use like 400 grit sandpaper. You know, the more coarse your thing is, the more of a grit it's going to leave on there. So we're going to sand this here. But before we do that, if there's like surface, like oil and stuff from people's hands or whatever was on this, we're going to wipe over it with that uh, cleaner first. Got to put on your gloves. There we go. We'll do that. This is wax. Grease remover. So, we're just gonna wipe this down real good. Like that and see it'll evaporate. And we won't leave an oily film. And then we're gonna sand over it. Don't use mineral spirits or lacquer for that matter. Change your rag once in a while if you run out of spots. So I'm gonna go in here now. I wiped all the way around it. Now I'm gonna take this here thing. I'm just gonna sand over that. And it's gonna get the lint. We're just gonna lightly sand over this. We're going to try to get rid of that rust. So uh, when we burned off this barrel, we left a layer of paint right there. And that's okay. You don't have to get that off of there. But I'm going to show you a technique. We always called it feather edging. So when we paint our new paint over this, we don't want to see a line where that is because it's, even though it looks like it's really thin, there is a line there. So what we're going to do is take this Scotch-Brite and you can watch as we go, we start to feather that edge back. And it is better to do that with like wet sanding but you can see how it's like transitioning from bare metal to whatever that scale, mill scale is up into the paint like that. Uh, now we sand it all the way around it. So I'm gonna get my little towels here and we're gonna wipe it down with that cleaner again. So we wiped all the way around the drum, then we sanded it, then we wiped it again. I actually wiped it twice, two rounds. So now we're gonna take and uh, uh, do our lid and our parts.
This is why you need your kids to help because they can shake this. They got the energy, you know. We're gonna apply two light coats followed by one medium wet coat. Allow 10 minutes between each coat and 30 minutes before wet sanding or applying the color. Then we're gonna uh, hold the can about eight, 10 inches away and we're gonna apply two light coats that are even, right? The way I do it is I go one coat, then I go the other way for the other coat, right? Guy told me one time that's called body man's camouflage. And uh, you do like that, and then you do one good wet coat over it, and then we're gonna walk away from it for 30 minutes. Getting close. You're almost out? I'm freaking almost out. I can't believe it. We're throwing vapor at it now. <laughs> we ran out of paint. <laughs> so we're gonna zip in here to this auto zone real quick. I don't know these people, so hopefully, uh, hopefully they're nice to me. Right next door is the brew house. And it would be real tempting to go in there and have a cold one before we go back to work, you know. We got to keep ourselves together here. We got to hurry up and go back and paint. We don't have time for that. Got it. You found what you're looking for? Yep. But they had two cans. <laughs> yep. They look exactly the same. the same. So this one is the new one. Yeah, the mouse trap. That's the empty. Wow. Very high temperature. Yeah. Anyway, so now we're gonna let all this stuff dry, probably overnight. I mean, at this point, once at 30 minutes, the paint, it says on the can that the paint will uh, tack up. You know, it's dry to the touch, whatever. And then uh, I'll come back and put it all together tomorrow, probably. But, uh, so anyway, guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, come on back. We'll do some cooking on this thing pretty soon, so.